On today's episode of How To XRGB Mini, we are going to take a look at how to use the screen set functions of the FrameMeister. Generally speaking, the sixth generation of home consoles supported a standard 480i or 480p video signal. While internally games are rendered at 640x480, the video output is actually 720x480, as we can see in the status menu of the FrameMeister. 720x480 is not a 4x3 aspect ratio. On classic systems, I use the zoom functions of the FrameMeister to correct aspect ratio issues. However, for the 6th generation consoles, it is much easier to use the screen set function. For the Xbox, the default setting of standard is correct. As we can see here on Hydro Thunder, all of the gauges are perfect circles. However, when we switch to the GameCube, we'll notice the black bars on the left and right side of the screen are suddenly larger, and the image in the middle has a squashed appearance. This is especially noticeable in the upper right, with the character icons having an oval appearance rather than being circles. If we turn the brightness up on the FrameMeister, we'll see the GameCube actually handles the difference between 720 and 640 differently, filling the space with black instead of stretching the image like the Xbox. Therefore, we'll need to change our screen set function to Normal 2, which widens the image to the correct aspect ratio. The PlayStation 2 works the same as the GameCube, requiring the Normal 2 setting. The final thing I want to look at is letterboxed content. This is widescreen content with black bars on the top and bottom to fill the unused space. Here, we'll want to choose one of the LB settings. For the PlayStation Portable, we can make the image fill the screen with the screen set option set to Game LB2. The LB of course standing for Letterboxed. I encourage you to play with all of the different options to figure out what they do and how you might use them, but these three settings are the ones I use the most. Hopefully, these examples have given you a better idea of how to use some of the FrameMeister's more advanced settings and help you achieve an excellent picture.